Now, when you think of JBL, the first thing that probably comes to mind are either their speakers or their headphones, you know, because that's pretty much what we always see them being used as. But the one thing that doesn't come in mind is a headset, a JBL gaming headset. Today we have the JBL Quantum 200 and we're gonna see how it is and if there's a reason that you don't normally see JBL make headsets. So now let's start off with the design of these headphones. First thing that you notice right off the bat is the build quality and I'm talking about the material. The entire thing here is pretty much made out of plastic and it's not, you know, the nice premium plastic you normally get. This is more on the cheap side and just overall does not feel very premium whatsoever. You do have a bit of some cushioning at the top of the headband as well. You do have some very nice cushioning on the ear cups. These are memory foam and in my opinion, these cushions were super duper comfy. They were really nice to have and just felt almost natural having them on your ear. Now as well on the side of the headset, you do have a big JBL logo on both sides, just in case, you know, if you forgot it's JBL, there's a reminder, it is JBL. As well on the left ear cup, you do have a volume up and down knob just to adjust volume. Again, it's nothing too special. It does feel pretty cheap in my opinion, but I guess it's better to have it than to not have it. Now as well, if big text wasn't a theme on this headset, you do have a big right and left indicator inside the headset so that, you know, if you forget which side's what, there you go, you can look and find. Now as well with the plastic on the ear cups, they are a fingerprint magnet. If there's any fingerprint magnet I've ever seen, this one takes the crown because the moment you touch it, fingerprint. Any part of you touches it, fingerprint. And it gets annoying, especially for me, because I like to have my tech nice and clean. I'm a clean and organized dude, I swear. This just, I didn't like it that much. Now, when it comes to the microphone, you do have a nice little swivel down, swivel up microphone. Personally, when I heard it at first, I was like, wow, that's a cool feature to have. But the sound it makes when you mute it and unmute it, in my opinion, is just too annoying. And I didn't really like it at all. Here's a quick little sound test to just give you an idea. Now it might not sound terrible through that sound test, but even when I have this on my ears, because of the fact that my ears are inside of it, I can even hear it more. So I didn't like that at all. Now this headset is Discord certified, but that brings us to the question, what is Discord certified? Like what classifies a headset or a microphone as Discord certified? Do Apple earbuds classify as Discord certified? Does my laptop's integrated microphone classify? Who knows? Let me know in the comment section below because I would love to know. You can he it registers the click click. Now as well, you do get a nice braided cable that has some orange accents and an angled 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There was nothing really wrong with the headphone jack or the cable. I was a big fan of it, but mainly it was the headset that I wasn't a big fan of. And again, that really goes back onto the, just the quality of this headset. It feels super cheap. I don't feel like I got my money's worth whatsoever, but you know what? Let's jump into the sound quality to see how it is. Now, when it came to the sound quality, in my opinion, it was also lacking. One thing personally, I know JBL4 and a lot of other people do as well, is for having that kick, that bass and that punch where if you put one of their speakers or anything inside of a room, it amplifies it and just takes over that room. And in this case, the experience and the sound quality just wasn't there. It was honestly lacking. It felt very muffled and in my opinion, didn't have any kick to it, which I was, Honestly surprised at, this is my first JBL gaming headset I've ever tried, and honestly probably the last one I'll ever try because this, it had no kick to it and I didn't feel like I got my money's worth whatsoever. Now when it came to my experiences using this headset, they weren't terrible, like honestly the ear cups were very enjoyable. I find that the memory foam ear cups were probably the best part of this entire headset and you know, maybe JBL spent all of their money into these ear cups, who knows? They might be $80 ear cups and then the rest was a couple cents. But everything else about it just wasn't nice. Sure, there was a bit of swivel here and there, you could adjust the headset, but the quality just 
really got to me and it did not feel premium whatsoever. Compared to other JBL products, I've tried speakers, headphones, earbuds. These just, it didn't seem like this was even a JBL headset. And that's probably the best way to put it. Because in all their other products, they have a lot of high quality standards that they want to reach. They want to make sure that what they're delivering is good. But with this one, it just really wasn't there. Another thing, again, I mentioned before, which I had terrible experiences with, and I didn't like it at all, was the mute and unmute of the microphone. The sound it makes, in my opinion, is honestly just horrendous, and I would not want this on anyone. I don't wish this upon anyone. No human should have to endure this sound when they're muting and unmuting. It just makes you not want to mute or unmute. Now, when it comes to my final thoughts on this headset, would I recommend it? The answer is very simple. No, because the quality just isn't there and I wasn't a big fan of the experience whether it's the sound quality the build quality or just the overall kind of vibe I got from opening this up I wouldn't want any other person to experience it and that's honestly you can ask anyone it's pretty hard for me to come across a tech product where there's not much I can say about it that I enjoy I always try to look at every different perspective of a product to see oh maybe it might suit this person this person this person but for this, there's just, the negatives just outweigh the positives, in my opinion, for anyone to pick this up. And that's why, personally, from me to you guys, I would not recommend you buy this headset. And honestly, look at other options at this price range. Even if it means you have to pay a little bit more to get a better headset, trust me, do it. This thing feels like it's going to break in a couple hours. With that being said, if you stuck around to the end of the video, a like and subscribe is greatly appreciated. It genuinely means the world to us and it helps the channel grow day by day. This has been Tech Barn and as always, stay premium.